Now that we know the percentage of air used during combustion, let us find out the percentage of air that is used during rusting. A simple setup as shown in this diagram will help us to understand what percentage of air is used. You need a trough, two test tubes, iron wool and water. The iron wool that is used must be moist so that it can stick at the end of the test tube. In the beginning of the experiment, the water level in the two test tubes is the same. When the iron filings are left for 48 hours, you'll find that they turn brown, showing that they have rusted and the level of water in the test tube rises. However, to make sure that this rise is not due to changes in temperature and pressure, we set up the control experiment which shows us that after 48 hours in the test tube that did not have iron wool, the level of water remained the same. The percentage of air that is used up in rusting is calculated in a similar manner as we had calculated for the percentage of air used during combustion in the candle experiment. We measure the level of water at the beginning of the experiment and the level of water at the end of the experiment in the test tube which had moist iron wool. See that distance to be x and y respectively. Suppose x is 15 centimeters and y is 11.8 centimeters, then the percentage of air used during rusting can be calculated as follows. From this calculation, you find that the percentage used is 21.3%. This is very close to the accurate figure of 21%, which is the volume of oxygen in air. This shows us that oxygen is used up in rusting.